Hey, it's Jack here, and today we're in Las Vegas. We're specifically at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. We're gonna go inside and check out the conservatory. The conservatory is a garden greenhouse type of area of the hotel casino where they set it up every for every season. They just switched over a couple weeks ago to fall. It's gonna run through mid-November, November 13th to be exact. So we're gonna go inside, check out the fall setup for the conservatory here at the Bellagio. When you come into the Bellagio, the main entrance here, they've got these revolving doors. Just keep walking and come on in. But once you come in, you're going to walk straight back. You're going to see this glass, what looks like flowers, as you come through the lobby. Hotel check-in is just to our left. The casino is to our right. But this is a cool setup here with a light and a glass that look like flowers. This is being filmed on a Saturday about checkout time, so I expect this to be pretty busy. We'll come through here, we're going to see this fountain. We come across this plaque, it says this rare and beautiful terracotta fountain was made by James Pullman in 1860. Got these little maidens sitting on fish with the water coming out of a shell that's in their lap. Directly across from the fountain is the conservatory. Well, let's go inside, check this out. First thing we see is this wooden walkway that takes us up to what looks to be a tree stump with this unique fountain right here. Now it gives a sense of movement because there's a light up above that's actually rotating and it gives a sense that the fountain is moving when it's actually stationary. Inside of the tree stump, they've got these cutout figures of animals. There's a fox right there. We look out the porthole over here we can see a fox take the nap underneath a mushroom and another fox riding a boat that looks like it's being propelled by a dragonfly and another fox sitting on top of the uh, waterfall over there. We'll get a closer look here in a minute. Now looking straight up we've got this tree house with another fox on it and more dragonfly. One there, one right over there. On the other side of this tree stump, there's another porthole that we look out, we see some bear, what looked to be porcupine, a cool fountain with flowers, some woodchucks, and more bear. Walk out the other side here, we got some mushrooms. Right at the top of the waterfall, underneath a, another toadstool or mushroom, is this pixie right here. Just hanging out. Flowers and plants and, oh, what's this? We've got this sign that this giant pumpkin weighs 795 pounds. That's a big pumpkin. There's this fall tree here with all the colors going on. Walk down this path here. Got this butterfly off to our left. We'll check that out. The butterfly's got a big B in the middle, which probably stands for butterfly. Wait, we're at the Bellagio. So it's either butterfly or it's Bellagio. Both start with B. Both would be correct. Now, if we thought the other pumpkin was big at 795 pounds, this one's even bigger. 
at 909 pounds, right there. Big pumpkin. Got this house right here. Front side of the log house that we looked at. Looks like I should say a tree stump house that we looked at from the back side. We got these mushrooms here, toadstools, whatever you want to call them. There are these snail fountains that are pretty neat sitting out there in the water. Here's another look at those snail fountains. If we drift over here to the right, we see a giant pumpkin. That this one is 920 pounds. Right there. Another view of that house that looks like it's made out of a hollow log. This side we can see has a door on it as well as the windows. I just noticed as I came across over here, the door handle on the door is a dragonfly. Also noticed right up in the tree there, if you see that pink, that's another pixie. Get a better angle of the garden pixie that's up in the tree. Right there. There she is. I was just informed by the groundskeeper that all the flowers on these toadstools, mushrooms, are real. All the plant is. Now the ladybug here on the top is not real. Otherwise it's a large ladybug, but, but the flowers and all the arrangements on that are in fact real. As I stand here documenting this, th these guys are actually setting the flowers up. As we speak, they're putting new Brand new flowers out for fall. It's much the way Disney does it at all their parks. They'll come out and switch out the bad flowers and put in the good flowers. Looks like we got two bear right here amongst the toadstool mushrooms. And sitting on the stem of this giant acorn is this porcupine. And over there looks to be the rest of his family or her family. Right there, there they are, sitting on top of a hollow tree stump. The other one's just hanging out in the front right there. This fountain is pretty cool. Each of the flowers is shooting out some water. Woodchucks, right there, holding flowers, sniffing flowers. We go up over here, there's another one on top of that toadstool mushroom. And there's this big squirrel. Looking at people inside there. And we got these bear hanging out looking at us. By the bear, we have another giant pumpkin. This is the lightest one that we've looked at, at 367 pounds. It's another giant pumpkin. This is the lightest one. 367 was our other light one, 334. Not that this is light by any means, but it's the lightest of the pumpkins we've seen on this tour. A fox sitting on top of the waterfall. Dragonflies piloting the boat that hauls some pumpkin. And there's a fox keeping watch on those pumpkin. And in the water, got these giant koi down here. the sleeping fox that we saw from the tree trunk as we came in resting underneath this toadstool mushroom.
another angle of the fox in the boat in the koi pond. There is that fox up in the treehouse, keeping watch over everything. Right at the base of that treehouse is this giant pumpkin. It's 780 pounds. enjoyed this walk around the Bellagio Conservatory with their fall setup. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. I don't have an Uber or a taxi to drop you off at the front lobby. Then to access the conservatory from the parking garage, you walk in as we are right now. And as soon as you get into this thoroughfare, you head over to the left and the conservatory is directly in front of you.